Hey guys, today we are going to talk about equivalent ratios. So the materials that you are going to need today. So if you are a hybrid student, you are going to use your packet today. Okay, if you are an online student, you did not get a packet for this unit and that's fine. I uploaded all the two worksheets that we're working on today to Google Classroom. So you are just going to complete these problems in your math notebook. So find a fresh piece of paper and write equivalent ratios at the top of that paper. And you'll just number the problems one, two, three, four, five as we work on them. Okay. So, and everyone needs a pencil and a calculator. Okay. So if you are a hybrid student, please do this work in the packet. I want to be able to see it when you return to school. Okay. So here is your warm up. So number one through three, I want you to use the dots over here on the right to write the ratios. And then for number four, I want you to write three ratios equivalent to the ratio three to four. Okay, so pause the video and complete that now, please. Okay, you should be back with the warm-up completed. So the ratio of green dots to purple dots, you should have gotten three to four. Okay, you could have also written it three to four or three to four. Okay, this is the way I'm going to write the next two because that is the way you write it most of the time. Okay, so the ratio of blue and purple dots to green dots. So on the formative, you should have seen yesterday that the ratio of blue and purple, that means you add them. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue and purple dots compared to the three green dots. So the ratio is nine to three. And then blue dots to total dots. So there are five blue dots and nine, 12 total dots. So the ratio is five to 12. So for the equivalent ratios, the ratio three to four you should have turned this into like the form that looks like a fraction and then done work with it to get the equivalent ratios. So you could have multiplied by two. And if you did different numbers, that's fine. I picked two because it's easy. So it should be six to eight is one of them. You could also multiply by three. To get... 9 to 12, and then let's multiply how about we do 10 times 10 equals 30 to 40. Okay, so remember equivalent ratios, you just multiply each term, each top and the bottom by the same number, and that's a ratio that is equivalent or represents the same pattern. Okay. So if you had different equivalent ratios, that's fine because there is an infinite amount depending on what you multiplied. Okay, so that is a nice little review. You need to know all of those skills for what we are doing today. So if you are a hybrid student, we are on page three of your packet. If you are an online student, you are just solving these problems in your notebook. Okay, so I'm going to do two of the word problems with you, get you started, and then I'm going to have you try three on your own and then show you how to do them, and then you'll have a little bit of practice. So number one says that at the pool, there needs to be two adults for every seven children. If there are 49 children at the pool, how many adults need to be there? Okay. So when it comes to solving ratio problems, I actually came up with a strategy to help you solve these and keep your work organized. So this top example, we're not going to do if you have the packet. If you have the, if you don't have the packet and you're just working in your notebook, I actually want you to cop, pause the video and copy down this picture. I call it hashtag win. Okay, we're going to hashtag win at these problems. So what you want to do is draw the big hashtag, looks like a big tic-tac-toe board, and you put the words that help you, or I usually do like W-I-N once you know what the words mean, in the top row. So the W in the win means the words that we're talking about in the problem. So we were given a ratio in this word problem. 
So you need to figure out what two things that this word problem is talking about that they gave you a ratio for. So if you go back and read the problem, the two things that they were talking about were adults and children. So those two labels are going to go in the first column under the W for when. Adults and children. Okay, those are just our two labels. Okay. So after we have our labels put in, we need to figure out the I in when or the information from the problem that they told us that we know. What do we know for sure? This is going to be the ratio that they give us. Okay, we know a ratio for sure. So we actually know that two adults have to be there for every seven children. That's the ratio they give us, two to two adults for every seven children. So we're going to fill that into our table, but you need to make sure that the two goes in the adult row and then the seven goes in the children row. Okay, so they should line up. Adults is two, children is seven. Okay, and then the last column is where we're actually going to do our work to answer the problem. So what do we need to know? So we need to know if there are 49 children at the pool how many adults need to be there? So we don't know the adults. So I'm going to put a question mark in that little spot next to adults. We don't know. That's what we need to know. And the children, we know that there are going to be 49. If there's 49 children, how many adults do we need? Because that's the unknown. Okay. So I'm actually going to go and erase this question mark. You don't actually need to do that in the problem. I'm just showing you that's what we don't know. Okay, so this is where our equivalent ratio knowledge is going to come into play. Okay, so we need to figure out what this missing number is right here. So we need to kind of ask ourselves, how do I get from this ratio, 2 to 7, to something to 49? So I know that equivalent ratios, you want to multiply each number or each term in the ratio by a certain number, and then that gets us an equivalent ratio. So I need to ask myself, 7 times what gets me 49? If you don't know what to multiply by, you could always divide in reverse. Do 49 divided by 7, and you should get 7. So just check in and make sure that 7 times 7 is 49 on your calculator. Never hurts to check. I always tell kids to check. It does. 7 times 7 is 49. So now you know that you can multiply the top by 7. So 2 times 7 gets us 14. So that tells us that if there are 49 kids in the pool, there need to be 14 adults in the pool. There needs to be 14 adults in the pool. Okay, so I know that this win looks like a lot of work and you're like, oh, I could have done that in my head. And kids say that every year. And every single year, I tell them that they need to use the win because these problems aren't always going to stay easy. So I know it's a lot of work, but I'm giving you a strategy that is going to help you be successful. So I want to see a hashtag win on every single problem, okay? So we're going to do one more together, then I'm going to have you try three on your own. So number two says, at the dog park, there are three golden retrievers. For every four Labrador Retrievers. If there are 16 Labrador Retrievers at the park tomorrow, how many Golden Retrievers will there be? Okay. So I'm going to do my hashtag win. So I'm going to draw a nice big hashtag. And we're going to write win in the top row. Okay. So the win or the W. W stands for words. What two things are we talking about in this problem? Well, we're talking about dogs, so we're going to talk about golden retrievers. So I'm just going to write golden retrievers. And then we're also talking about Labrador retrievers, lab retrievers. Okay, so those are our two things. The I stands for information that we know. 
So the ratio that we know already. So we know that the, there are three golden retrievers for every four Labrador retrievers. So we're going to put three next to golden and four next to lab. Then it asks us, if there are 16 Labrador retrievers at the park tomorrow, how many golden retrievers will there be? So it's 16 labs, we know, and we need to figure out the goldens. So you want to find Labrador retrievers and put 16 in the need to know. We need to know how many goldens there will be if there are 16 labs. So you want to use your equivalent ratio knowledge, and you want to figure out how to get from 4 to 16. And that'll tell us what to multiply 3 by. So 4 times something gets me 16. If you don't know, divide in reverse. Do 16 divided by 4, and it should give you 4. And 4 times 4 is 16. So you do the same thing to the top. 3 times 4 is 12. So I would say there will be 12 Labrador retrievers. Okay, so hashtag win every single problem. So now I want you to, if you are hybrid, turn to flip the page in your packet and you're going to do three, four, and five. If you are online, you can either pause the video and look at these two or the worksheets on this assignment. So just open the worksheet and do those problems in your notebook and then come back to the video, okay? So pause it now and complete these problems for me. Okay, so hopefully you completed these three problems, and I'm going to go over them right now. If you want to just stay for one more and then try to the last two on your own, that's fine as well, but I want you trying some on your own. So we're going to hashtag win. Okay, so a school bus is needed for every 60 students. So that's actually our ratio. It's kind of a little hidden. So if there are 300 students in the grade, how many buses will be needed to take the students to a field trip? So the two things that we're talking about are students and buses. Okay, so the ratio that they give us, what do we know? We know that a school bus is needed for every 60 students. A school bus is just one, and 60 students are needed for that one school bus. And we need to figure out if there are 300 students, how many buses are needed. So we need to ask ourselves, how do I get from 60 to 100? What do I multiply by? And that'll tell me what to multiply one by. If you don't know off the top of your head, all you have to do is divide in reverse. 300 divided by 60 and you should get five. So always go back and check and make sure that 60 times five is 300. So you always wanna multiply in the direction of your arrow. So 60 times five is 300. So one times five would give me five. So five buses are needed. Okay. So for number four, if you did not do three on your own, I want you to pause and please try four and five on your own, okay? You do not practice unless you try things on your own, so go do them on your own. If you did four, so we're going to hashtag win again. For every three boys in the swimming pool, there are five girls. If there are 39 boys in the pool, how many kids are in the pool? So we're talking about boys and girls here. And the ratio that they give us is if there's three boys in the pool, there are five girls. The what we need to know, if there are 39 boys, so put 39 where the boys are, how many kids are in the pool? So notice they're not asking for the girls. 
we need to actually figure out how many kids are in the pool. So in order to figure that out, we do need to figure out how many girls are there first. So I need to figure out how to get from three to 39. Three times something gets me 39. So do 39 divided by three and you should get 13. So double check that three times 13 gets me 39. You're good. So then you do 5 times 13, and you get 65 girls, okay? So if there are 65 girls and 39 boys in the pool, you have to add those to figure out how many kids are in the pool, which it is 104. So there are 104 kids in the pool. Okay. Okay, one more, and this was definitely a tricky one. Okay. So this is a double hashtag win. And I'm gonna show you why in a second. So we are going to first draw our hashtag. And I'll show you why it's gonna be a double. So in a pet motel, the ratio of dogs to cats is four to three. The ratio of cats to birds is five to two. If there are 20 dogs in the pet motel, how many cats are at the pet motel and how many birds are at the pet motel? So they give us two different ratios here, okay? So two different ratios with two different labels. So that's why we're gonna have two different hashtags because we have two different ratios going on. So the first ratio they tell us is dogs to cats. So since the ratio is four, two, three, dogs is first and four is first. So that tells us there are four dogs for every three cats. Okay, so we're just filling in our information that we know at this point. But then they also tell us the ratio of cats to birds is five to two. So five to two. Cats is five and birds is two. Then they tell us that there are 20 dogs at the pet motel and we need to figure out how many cats and how many birds are at the pet motel. So where is dogs in our hashtags? So we need to find dogs. So dog is up here. So I'm going to place that we need to know how many cats and birds there are if there are 20 dogs. Okay, and now I just use my equivalent ratio knowledge. So I need to figure out how to get from four to 20. Four times what gets me 20? It's four times five. So then I do the same thing to my cats and three times five is 15. So that tells me that there are 15 cats at the pet motel. But I also need to figure out how many birds there are. So this is where it gets tricky, okay? So now that I know that there's 15 cats, I'm going to travel that down here and I'm going to plop that into this hashtag. Okay, so there's 15 cats and I know the ratio of cats to birds is 5 to 2. So ask yourself, how do I get from 5 cats to 15 cats? Well, 5 times 3 gets me 15, so 2 times 3 is 6. So that tells me that there are 15 cats and 6 birds at the pet motel. Okay, that was definitely a tricky one. It's like a double hashtag because they give you two different ratios and you have to Use your noggin for that, okay? So that was a hard one. If you couldn't do that on your own, totally fine. I didn't show it. If you actually figured that out on your own, good job. That's awesome, okay? So your practice for today, you're not going right to the formative, okay? You need to practice these skills so you are ready for your test. So you're actually going to do the second worksheet that I posted on the Google Classroom. If you're online, just do all those problems in your notebook. I'll post the answer key. 
If you are a hybrid, you are doing page five and six in your packet. It is just six problems, okay? Um, I do believe number six is going to be a double hashtag, okay? You're going to do two different hashtag wins for number six, so keep an eye out for that, okay? So I will put the answer key up to this ratio problems worksheet after you are done doing all of these and then checking your work. Then you can do the formative for your homework, okay? Join my Google Meet at 1130 if you have any questions. If you don't have any questions, then I will just talk to you tomorrow, okay? Don't forget to do your formative for homework. 